Good evening, YouTube. This is Angie. I'm going to do a little, um, mostly an estate sale haul for you. This is another one that was kind of a lost haul. I kind of had put this stuff away and forgot I had it. So I'll do a quick little video on it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is the basket back there. Um, we At the estate sale we went to, we got that basket. And um, everything I'm going to show you, we filled it up and it cost us $5. Um... So it was a pretty good deal. We'll start with what my husband put in the basket. Um, he got a couple golf balls, which is pretty boring, but yeah, a couple golf balls. And then a little fishing, um, I forget what that's called, weight, bobber, something. And then he got a lock. Um, this is a really nice heavy lock with a key. So that was nice. Um, we use locks a lot, and that right there probably itself would cost five dollars if or more if you were buying one. Um, he got some Marlboro cards, um, they were marked 50 cents. But like I said, this is the guy that bundles everything, and you just put it all in something, and he gives you a price. But these are brand new, they're really clean, never they've never been at the package. Um, and I love brand new, really slick cards, so that was a good deal. He also got a couple knives. This is a stainless steel, pretty much, um, I would call it a, like, um, mayonnaise knife. Um, it was a marked dollar, but like I said, we paid five dollars for everything in the basket. So that was a good deal. It is stainless steel. We got two other knives. They were marked a dollar a piece. Um, normally five ninety nine, I guess, but these were just two really nice pairing knives. They're also stainless steel. I think it said, it's upside down, forever sharp stainless steel, but they're really, really sharp. And we just never have sharp knives, so I got two of those, um, which were great. He also threw these in. I guess he thought I would want them. I do sometimes get vintage um, salt and peppers. These are not vintage, but he, he thought they were cute, and he got them for me, so I was like, oh, thank you. I wouldn't have probably picked these up, but um, they're just two little frogs. They're not really marked. They're probably not even old. They're probably like, you know, Walmart or something. But anyway, they were cute, and that was sweet of him to think that I wanted them. He also got these, this pair, the little magnet hamburger and fries. And those, I will probably just put them, honestly, in like a yard sale or something. I won't really do much with them. The little frogs, I might like sit in a flower pot. I do like to do that sometimes. Um, so I'll probably keep the frogs, but those I'll probably just sell in a yard sale. One really cool thing that we got in that in that basket, which um, I got just to resell, is a brass, it's very heavy brass um, door knocker. And it's kind of, you see you pull it up and like they kiss, I guess, when you close it. Or, But that was a really great find to get to get in that basket for $5.00. Um, you attach it to your door, and yeah, just a, a very cool vintage. I don't, I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it is definitely heavy brass. It says Taiwan on the back. So anyway, that was a really cool. That was a really cool find. It's really cute. That's just I, I'm not going to put that on my door. He also got another little cute thing for me was this little pack of cards. They are Charmers playing cards by Hallmark. Just the tiny cards. They're just really cute little girl. Let's see if I can focus that better. Um, but they were all there and just really cute little deck of cards. I love those. And, he, and then he picked up these pistol grips. Fine. Packmeyer. I don't know what that is. Fine gun accessories. I don't know if um, this is like. They're definitely used, but, and I think they feel kind of plasticky. I don't know what he got these for. Um, that one's just kind of, I don't know what he got those for, honestly. This one's a little cooler looking, um, but it was in here. And it said Rogers Hol Holsters Company. Uh, just some kind of pistol grip. More durable than wood. Yeah, they feel kind of like a plasticky thing. They're not wood, but they kind of look like wood. But he got those. I don't know what he's going to do with those. But that 
And then we also got in there was this really, well, I got this bag of roll papers for um, calculator. Because I'm gonna make I'm gonna make one of those vintage like message boards where you use this kind of paper and then you rip it off or like I don't know if you know what I'm talking about I can't even think about what I'm talking about but um I have a project for that that was also in the five dollars and this cute little girl she she's plastic she looks like a drowsy baby doll from the seven sixties seventies but she's marked Japan on her the back of her neck. And I cannot read that little symbol in the middle. I, I don't know what that says, but I thought she was so cute. She's very dirty, though. I've, I did wash her off a little bit here for the dust, but she really had, needs a really good cleaning. But she's precious. She's got a little dent in her head. I'll try to press out and maybe give her hair a cleaning, but I loved her. She was also included in that $5 basket, so I thought that was just adorable. Her head does turn. But, yeah, I've got to do some research on her. Look at her really cute little eyes. I just love it. And her cute little lips. She is so cute. But, yeah, that was everything that we got for $5, which was pretty cool. And then I found this. I showed you in my last video the Pyrex bowl that I wasn't sure what the pattern was. I actually did get the lid. I just had put it somewhere else. But it does have a crack here. But I do have the lid, so that was a that was cool that I found. And then, a, and then a couple other videos back, I showed the three the two little elephants. Um, I actually found this one. I had it. I got it with the other two. I just forgot. It somehow got in a different place. So I have the three little elephants, little Homeco elephants. Um, and like I said before, there's a million of these on eBay, so I'll just keep these because um, I won't sell them. So that, um, that was that, and then I got, I went to another estate sale, I got this cute little bear, he is marked Japan, but something, cri I couldn't read this thing, read the name, it's C-R-I-T-E-R-I-O-N, product, Japan, he was just a cute little bear, um, with a couple, a little bit of damage, but I just grabbed him, because I want to say he was like 50 cents, and this little guy, I collect the little girl angels, um, and I, I actually finally found the little guy, and he's holding he's holding a golf ball, and he's holding a golf club. Um, he's not marked, but he's got little gold wings, uh, and it's just a cute little boy. So I will add him to my little girl collection. I have a bunch of them, like over here, you can see in that cabinet, and then more up there. But yeah, I never, I've never found a little boy, so now I have one, and I thought he was adorable. And at the same place that I got him, I got this Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer book for $0.10. Cents. Um, and it is in really, really good shape. It does have a barcode, so it's not that old, but it was, I think originally the first one was 1939 this one said I think is 1967 but I don't know that makes me wonder because it does have a barcode on the back um but yeah I've I've, I've gotten this book before it's a really beautiful book with really pretty graphics and I just love the story I also got for 50 cents a piece at this same estate sale this is the only thing I bought was the 10 cent book and these really cute Easter um postcards and they were used uh, really cute. And one of them I thought had a date, a pretty old date on it. But, uh, I wish you an awfully happy Easter. That one was used too, but I just love those for 50 cents a piece. This is the same one, it's just a little more faded. I think this one might have the day, had the date. Yeah, it said March 27th, 1914, which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that was a good find at that estate sale. And then, um, I did also got this. I think it was another estate sale. I just got it for the box. It was like 50 cents. It's a really pretty box. And But inside it had some really cool papers. Just vintage papers. A little yellow with flowers. Just little pieces, but, um, 
I just thought they were really pretty. And then this one was new in the package, shower paper. And it was, I think it was forget-me-nots. Well, let me pause it and fix it. No, that wasn't forget-me-nots. It was just some shower paper, like with words, like for a wedding shower. But then there was this piece that was really pretty. I guess that's also maybe wedding shower. And then this, two pieces of this really cute one. Look at these cute little graphics of these precious little girls. I don't know what I'll do with these papers, but um, like I said, I really bought it for the box and then for 50 cents. So and then it was, I had a nice surprise of what was inside. And then the last little thing I got was this, it doesn't look like it, but that is three yards of kind of a knit vintage fabric I got for a dollar off of a Facebook uh, sale. And I got for another dollar, it was four really nice linen uh, napkins. And she actually had a draw, like a drawing where I won this little handkerchief that says, My voice shalt thou hear in the mornings, O Lord. But this was a little handkerchief from the same woman that, like, she had like a drawing. And um, I won that, and I thought that was really cute. And the last thing I got from her was the um, the twin sheet. It's a twin fitted Vintage Snoopy and Woodstock play in tennis uh, sheet. I also got that for a dollar. So for three dollars, I got the three separate pieces and won this one. And I think I had to pay a, maybe like seven dollars in shipping, but that wasn't really bad. Um, and that's pretty much it. And the last thing I got that was thrifted was this little clock. I don't, I didn't want this. I got this at I think Goodwill for ninety nine cents. Because um, when you go to Hobby Lobby, I wanted the the clock mechanism. They're like seven ninety nine for the clock mechanism, and I had bought this um, this sign. I know I don't pay retail, but I did. I got this with my forty percent coupon. The only reason I got it, I don't. I got it for the camper, and I like to make clocks. And I got it because almost all of the commercial vintage camper campers that they use are Shastas. This is actually an Aljo camper. That's what this symbol right here is for. It's like the Aljo wing, and that's what our camper is, an Aljo. So I'm going to take a drill and just drill a little hole in the window here and insert the clock mechanism to make that a clock for our camper because the color matches and the actual camper matches. So I thought that would be really cute, just a little project I decided to do. Well, I hope you enjoyed the haul. Um, if you did, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.